Use of chemicals in pomegranate has reached its peak. This is not good for the health of the plant, soil and the consumers. Pomegranate plants have lost resistance already and become easily susceptible for many pests and diseases. Many more chemicals are used for plant protection again. European countries impose ban on imports of vegetables and fruits from India again and again, alleging chemical residues. We should take it seriously. We have to adapt organic methods at least to the extent possible. We must practice using rich organic manures, panchagavya, cow urine, vermicompost, etc. Organic farming makes the export safe and fetches a higher price. This farm keeps few cows for this purpose. Cow urine and shed washing is collected in this pit. This is lifted by a slurry pump, filtered through this sand filter and injected into the irrigation water line. These plants get organic nutrients at least to some extent. Cow dung and waste fodder are put in these vaccine tanks to produce vermicompost. This vermicompost unit is meant for pomegranate plants. These organic initiatives have helped this farmer to keep a check on bacterial blight disease. But we have not come across any farm practicing systematic and complete organic farming for commercial pomegranate garden anywhere. Pomegranate is a dry land crop. However, a short irrigation is necessary for commercial crop production. Drip irrigation method is more suitable and is very popular in pomegranate. It is useful to save water, to maintain uniform soil moisture level, to avoid spread of diseases and for fertigation. Water requirement of the plant depends on the type of soil, climate, stage of crop, size of the plant canopy, etc. A fruit-bearing plant of this size needs 50 litres of water in April-May. In other months, 20 to 25 litres is sufficient. Maintain uniform soil moisture at fruit ripening stage, especially in hot summer months. Frequent and drastic variation in soil moisture leads to cracking of fruits, amounting to heavy economic loss. See that all the plants get uniform watering while installing drip irrigation structures. Digging around the plant and intercultivation between the rows is better for the control of weeds. Minimize the application of herbicide as it is again a chemical. Weeds not only compete for nutrients but also harbor many pests and diseases. Hence, timely and effective weed control is most important.